It's a great morning in Moose Jaw uh, when we're taping this and filming it. And because of that uh, great summer is still with us, even though it says fall on the calendar. But here we are at the Moose Jaw Western Development Museum. And I've got Shirley Stanko with me today. We're going to talk about some of the upcoming events because there's really cool things happening here. And uh, so we thought we'd give you a chance to uh, have a look in, a preview of what's going to happen this weekend. And maybe what, if you didn't get a chance to see it here, you'll come back and say, I want to go up and take a look at that. So Shirley, welcome. Hi. Now, Shirley, um, we're here in the museum and you have a lot of uh, things coming up in a little while, but most importantly on uh, Sunday, September the... 30th. 30th, okay, because my dates weren't good. We're going to have here a celebration that I didn't even realize until I was talking to you this morning. It happens all across Canada. Yes, it does. Because it's a... Um, Cultural Days, of course, is a celebration of culture in Canada. Yes. And it's on yes. for three days, the 28th, 29th, and 30th across yes. the country. But the 30th is our day in Moose Jaw. That's so what right. have you got going on? We have different activities going on during the day from 1 till 4. We have free admission all day. Um, we, sorry. Yeah, let's keep going. Sorry. Okay. Activities 1 to 4. Okay, we have horse and wagon rides. Yeah. We have our blacksmith outside. Yeah. And we have some crafts and interpreters in the galleries in the museum and a special treat for us is Olga and friends who will be playing at two o'clock. Now you mentioned uh, the uh, horse rides and I said well, are they local people? You said no you have volunteers from Saskatoon. Yes we do. Who come yes. Down to yes. Well that's kind of a cool thing uh, because of course Moose Jaw Museum is part of a, a series of museums in the province of Saskatchewan. There's Yorkton, Saskatoon, North Battleford, I don't know if that's yes, all of us. No, all? That's, that's all of us. Well, There's I'm, four locations. You make me feel really good then. Good. Yeah. So, uh, and you've got Olga and her friends coming. Of course, uh, a lot of people enjoy the music that they play and uh, they're uh, fun entertainment. Oh, they are. Yeah. They are, yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, culture, of course, because when I was in uh, teaching with your kids, <laughs> uh, I was doing drama and of course it's a it's a really nice thing that the museums of the country celebrate culture because of course museums are part of culture they're what it's all about and uh, it's collecting and maintaining and displaying elements from our culture in the past so it's you know what a good idea oh it is yeah. it is yes yeah. yes well two of our activities are outside and that's the blacksmith and the horse and wagon rides but everything else is inside in through the galleries here so everybody gets to experience the whole museum while they're here yeah. and you've got a display we were we were talking about when we came in about food yes our food for health exhibit yes and they'll get to see that one too while they're here okay but it's what i tell me about that i don't know what's the angler approach that they're taking with that is like is, is it the changes in the food or the choices in food i don't know yes the changes and choices and just you know how smart you are about your food and there's different interactive areas to yeah. the display and um, how do you interact you make your own popcorn do you have to pop no them? you get to push buttons and look in mirrors and i know we have a, do mirror. games that are people there watch, watch passes they'll see the mirror and everybody wants to stand in front of this mirror i'm sure oh that's right that's right, it, yes. It's a great slimming effect. Eh? Yes, it is. Yeah. Half of it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, uh, and, and how have things changed over the years? What did, when you looked at the displays, what did you find that was interesting for you? Just how things have been processed and different things like that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because, yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of concern about what add additives are put into food exactly. nowadays. Exactly. You know? Exactly. More organic now, over-processed. and. Yeah and that so you know help, helps you figure out maybe some healthier choices to make well good deal now that's just uh, i said we were just touching and scratching the surface because right. there's so much going on here yes um yes. and once we get past these two events but we should say the food display is on till it's on till january and it's Sponsored locally by our Conexus. Don't forget Conexus. Yes, yeah. we don't want to forget them. Yeah. And you can organize tours, eh? You can call up and say for school kids, for example? Yes, yes. There's okay. um, some different activities that we can do with the school groups, and that includes some different areas for interactive yeah. displays for them to do. How big would you like a group to be, or does it matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we usually have three different areas for the children to be at, so they mm -hmm. can be split up and 
enjoy it all. Well, that's cool. Yes. And once we've done that, we've got, of course, um, Halloween coming up oh, too, right? Yes, it's Tell coming up that. nice I and quick. Smile there. Tell me about yes. <laughs> okay. Well, we do our Happy Halloween event for children on it's. Saturday, October 27th, and it runs from 1 to 4. And we have games and crafts for the kids to do some face painting, that kind of thing. All right. So, and, and the, is there a mission charge for that? that yes, day? there is. Okay. Yes, our free event is our culture day, but mm -hmm. our other events do require regular museum admission. Now, uh, and that'll be a lot of fun for kids because they, you know, I, I was in the stores the other day and they've already got Halloween candy and stuff. Oh, they do, they you do, know? yes, oh. yes. Holy! Well, we feel this is another chance for the kids to, you know, wear their costumes, get out, have a little fun, right? So. Well, I was, I was reading about, uh, you might be a Sask from Saskatchewan and they said, one of the things that qualifies you as being from Saskatchewan is you design your Halloween costume to fit over a snowsuit. That's right. That's right. Or underneath with a mask, <laughs> with your mask, and you can tell everybody okay. what you are. Okay. Now, what else have we got coming up? You've got you got a good list of things here. Yes, we have. Then um, on Saturday, November twenty fourth, mm -hmm. our Kids Secret Shopping Day that runs from ten until three, and that's where kids ten and under can come and shop for mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever they like. The tables run from $2 to $10 and they get a little helper to take them into the room. So mom and dad have to stay outside so they get a surprise on Christmas Day. And that's pretty important because oftentimes, you know, the parents will say, well, what am I going to get from my kids this year? But exactly. it's, it's a nice idea. Yes. And uh, it's been going on for a long time. It here. has been. I'm not too sure how many years, but it has been going on for quite a few. So it's only the one day that they do that? It is, yes. Yes. Okay. And then uh, the Girl Guides that day will also yes. be doing their Breakfast with Mrs. Claus again and their bake sale. So that's a fundraiser for them that they do. And um, I believe tickets, I'm not sure when tickets will be on sale for that, but you can get them to the Girl Guides or through us here. And what's the contact information for the museum here? Uh, like the phone number and... Uh, okay, our phone number is 693-5989. Or you can email us at mushcha at wdm.ca. Okay. Well, the museum displays are wonderful in here too. How often do you, as a, someone who's employed here, how often do you get to go through and, and, and look at the things? Oh, I probably walk through once or twice a week. Really? Yeah. What's yes. your favorite part? Aviation. Really? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, the uh, recreation of the World War II. Uh, training center mm. is, is quite wonderful. Yes, it is. Yes. Are, are they working on anything right now? They are working on a vedette right now, oh, our vintage the, aircraft two stores. Yes, the flying boat. It's is a flying boat, yeah, yeah. Yes. And yes. Uh, a Vickers vedette. Yes. And uh, and the guys come in here and they're a wonderful group of people. Oh, they are wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Don't know what we'd do without them. Of That's course. Right. Yeah. All of our volunteers are very important to us. So. And of course, volunteerism is a, this is a place where you get a chance to do um, things. And, and if someone wanted to volunteer, they come up and say, I would like to get involved with this. What right. they, how do they do it? They just come, if they like, would like to, they can just come up and speak to one of the staff members here, like um, Kathy Fitton, our manager, or myself, and just say that they would like to volunteer. They have some, a little paperwork to fill out and and that yeah. and you know so anybody with any special skills or interests that they would like to share or building airplanes or yes <laughs> definitely <laughs> or but, just anything to you know that children would enjoy and and stuff like that yeah. so and you had great success with the short line railroad this oh, year hey we did yes yes yeah. Yes, now, who is operating it for you? Do you have a crew of people who rotate? We do. We have volunteers, volunteers through yeah. the museum. Yes, we do. And um, that is actually another opportunity where you can volunteer. You have to have certain papers and certificates and things like that. But again, that's something that Kathy would be able yeah, to some, You have to have like steam powered. You have to have right. some steam engineer right. kind of stuff. Yes. But yeah, yes. and you get to go in circles all day. That's right. <laughs> That's right, That's yes. Wonderful. yes. We're into our last two minutes already. Oh, really? And you're going like, holy cow. Okay. So let's just recap uh, what we have available for people in the next couple of weeks. September the 30th, Sunday, 
yes, this Sunday is Culture Day and free admission all day with activities running from 1 till 4. And, and, and all good friends are here. Oh, right. But also there's, uh, uh, there's just lots of fun things to do. It's a really good yes, we're celebrating have culture. A few different activities and crafts and that kind of thing. Next we have the food. The Food for Health exhibit, which is here until January. Next is sponsoring it, yeah. Definitely, yes. And uh, it's uh, about healthy choices and lifestyles. Right, yes. Then Halloween for Kids. That's right. On oh. Saturday, October 27th, yeah. from 1 until 4. And the final thing that we can think about now, but it could be a, is <laughs> the fact that kids can come and do some Christmas shopping with the assistance of the people up here. Exactly, and that is Saturday, November, oh my goodness, 24th. Okay. And the shopping runs from 10 until 3, and the other activities will be running at different times during the day. Okay. Shirley, thank you. And uh, for the people who are watching, come on up and enjoy this wonderful museum, and because uh, it's a very active, interactive place, and I know you'll enjoy it. So.